This screencast is on the determinants of the short run aggregate supply curve and shifting the SRAS and what that looks like. So when we're talking about the determinants for the short run aggregate supply, again, what we're looking at here are the per unit costs of production that go into it. So remember, if it ever, if anything ever talks about a change in the price level, that's a movement along the aggregate supply curve. It's not an actual shift of the aggregate supply curve. So for this, we're looking at things outside of the price level changing, which would be a movement along the aggregate supply. We're looking at things that will shift the short run aggregate supply. So here are some of the ones and just things to think about, about increasing or decreasing. When we talk about an increase in the short run aggregate supply, we're talking about a rightward shift of the short run aggregate supply. When we're talking about a decrease in aggregate supply, we're talking about a leftward shift of it. And so recognize that when supply decrease, the aggregate supply decreases, the price level would go up. When the aggregate supply increases, the price level will go down. So the first determinant of the, SRA, the SRAS is a change in the input or resource prices. The one that will probably get used the most on test questions would be changes in wages, right? Because there we're dealing with the labor market, we're looking at the workers, and we're um, thinking about this input price that goes along with it. And so if wages increase, that's going to shift the supply curve to the left. If for some reason you had wages that were decreasing, um, that would be a shift to the right. You know, the wages decreasing could be like if you had um, immigrants that came in and then they were finding different workers or laborers that would work for lower wages for those jobs. That's how you could have a decrease in the wages. When we look at another change in the input or, or resource price, you could think about imported goods. So, so things coming from other countries. Oil is a great example. Um, that's obviously two-thirds of all of our oil is imported, and so that's a commodity that we um, utilize a lot and rely on. And so these are different ones where if it becomes more expensive um, to import these goods, then that would shift the supply curve to the left. Another thing to think about is not only about the actual commodities, but about the exchange rates. And so if the U.S. dollar appreciates, which means that it allows the U.S. firms to obtain more foreign currency, then that makes resources from other countries cheaper. And so we'll import more of those resources, which would be cheaper, which would decrease the short run aggregate supply. Productivity, we're looking at technology, we're looking at workers, maybe they become more educated, more efficient, better at what they do. So when we talk about the productivity here, that would be an increase in the SRAS. The next one is the legal institutional environment. So we've got taxes and subsidies. Taxes are an additional cost that is placed on businesses. And so that would decrease the SRAS. Subsidies is kind of like a tax break almost or where you're they're given money. And so with that, it would increase the SRAS or shift it to the right. Government regulations are usually seen as a cost. And so government regulations would decrease the SRAS. So again, when you're looking at increasing or decreasing, if a tax was placed on businesses, then you would find the SRAS would decrease. If you had the U.S. dollar appreciates and you're able to buy foreign goods more cheaply, so you're importing more, that would be um, a decrease in the resource price, and so that would have a rightward shift of the supply curve. Again, a lot of it could be an increase in the nominal wages, which would be that decrease in the supply curve. 
Another way that you have the supply curve shifting is something called cost push inflation. So inflation, again, is that general increase in the price level. And when we're talking about cost push inflation, we're talking about how factors like resources or um, inputs, they, their prices are rising, and as a result, these factor prices are pushing the price level of goods higher. And so what you find is that with cost push inflation, you have a decrease in the aggregate supply. So well, for whatever reason, um, it could be things from foreign countries that could be causing this. Um, you also would find like with the terrorist attacks um, from 9-11, um, that was an example of where you had this cost push inflation because the imported goods were all of a sudden more expensive because of everything that was going on. And so as a, re as a result, these resource prices that were then making the per unit cost of production more expensive were decreasing the aggregate supply curve. So cost push inflation will always shift the aggregate supply curve to the left.